Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Hope you all are well. Today I am going to start Amazon Web Service. This is a new technology which I am going to start today. If my video is informative, please like and share. Definitely subscribe my channel to get new technological video update which makes you IT Smart. So let's start the introduction of AWS. So I am prepared a small PowerPoint presentation. Uh, so first, the introductions of Amazon Web Service. So in this video, I am show you which topics and which uh, features of AWS we covered so please stay uh, with me till the video end so first we have to know that the prerequisites to learn AWS first you have to need a desktop or a laptop with internet connectivity which is a very important next you have a free AWS account so in future videos I will show you how to create a AWS free account for one years so this is a one of the prerequisites to learn AWS and next you have to have the knowledge about the server or networking very basic knowledge is required over here so if you don't have any server knowledge or any networking knowledge or you have a very basic knowledge of networking so please follow my video I assure you after the video end you will learn a lot and I will describe and I will show you where from very scratch level so these are the very these are the prerequisites to learn AWS so we will learn in future that is uh, first we have to learn the cloud computing we all know about the cloud computing we heard that that word the cloud computing so we don't know what is cloud computing so in my future video I will show you or I will explain you uh, what is cloud com computing nowadays uh, a very essential technology is virtualization which technology is based on a hypervisor technology so what is virtualization what is hypervisor we will describe one by one in my next lesson lesson or a next video also we can cover up the cloud computing types what is private cloud what is public cloud what is hybrid cloud Amazon Web Service which kind of cloud it is a private public or a hybrid what kind of cloud we also know that what is the infrastructure as a service what is a platform as a service what is a software as a service next we learn or we will create a Amazon Web Service free account and next start the AWS region or a AWS availability zone or a data center these are the very basic topics you have to learn before start the AWS these are the very basic topics you have to learn carefully so uh, I request you to please stay tuned with me and listen my videos and study my videos carefully till end to learn the AWS properly inside the AWS topic we will cover the EC2 which is called Elastic Compute Cloud 
or sometimes we call elastic cloud computing. Inside the EC2 we will learn what is the EC2, what is the pricing model of EC2, what is the on-demand, what is the spot inter instances, what is reserve inter instances, what is dedicated host, we will learn one by one. We will create a Windows and a Linux instances inside the AWS. After the create instances, we will connect that instances from our Linux or our desktop machines. We will show you the process how to connect instances. As well as we will launch a web server instances also we learn a security group inside the cloud or inside the Amazon Web Service. Inside EC2 there are a lot more topics are there like EBS or volume types, AMI, Amazon Machine Image, what is Elastic IP, what is Cloud Watch. These topics we covered one by one. These topics I will describe you very preliminary level. So if you don't know about Amazon Web Service and you are a, if you are a very um, very you are starting Amazon a very preliminary stage, so my videos is help helpful to you definitely. Next topic we will cover or a next lesson we will cover the identity access management. Inside the identity access management, we will know the what is the features of identity access management, what is the policies, groups, and roles of identity access management, and we will uh, obviously we will uh, do some practical labs besides the theories. Next, we will uh, cover up the storage like EBS, EFS glaciers and S3 so these storage we will cover uh, throughout my Amazon Web Service videos next we will cover up the route 53 we all know about the DNS right I know if I ask you what is DNS I know that you, you guys are definitely uh, know and definitely heard about DNS and you can tell what is DNS so inside the AWS that same thing DNS is called the root 53 the name is different so we will learn about DNS what is DNS how it is works how root 53 works so these are the features or these are the key topics we will cover inside the AWS lessons. Next we cover up the elastic load balancing and auto scaling. So load balancing means we everybody know about load balancing. Load balancing means we will uh, balance the load. If we have a even number of traffic like we have a uh, suppose we uh, I, we have a door and there are 10 people are uh, waiting outside the door and if I allow them to come inside so if 10 people are uh, try to come inside so it will have some problem because they may be collide each other so to avoid this I make two doors some pupils allow from door 1 and some pupils allow from door 2 so that the gathering we avoid the gathering as well as the collisions so in here the load balancing doing the same thing they just load our traffic load our application etc 
so there you can see that there is a different different kind of load balancer over here classic load balancer application load balancer network load balancer so we will cover up all these load balancers and we also cover the routing AWS auto scaling etc after that we will cover up the VPC virtual private cloud inside this we will create a virtual private cloud lab we will cover up the subnet network ACL root table internet gateway router etc we will configure the net there have a net session labs also we will also cover the network ACL as well after that we will cover up the databases AWS data databases in this AWS database we will cover up the relational database create an RDS instance relational database key features all these things also we cover up the DynamoDB as well next AWS cloud formation we form a AWS cloud inside the free tenant and inside the cloud we create a EC2 instance S3 bucket as well next we cover up the serverless AWS Lambda we will cover up the Lambda nations EC2 star stop using Lambda functions scheduling EC2 star stop using Lambda after that we will cover up uh, VM import export migrate a VM into AWS environment this is a very important next we cover up the applications email notifications Post publish messaging using SNS and some uh, topics uh, is not mentioned over here uh, which will you can say these that are the bonus videos I will show you which are very helpful to our industry level guys uh, so after all our AWS lesson finish we will uh, I will uh, show you some uh, troubleshooting types and some uh, very essential video which are not inside our AWS global syllabus so I think you all are stay tuned with me for my next videos so thank you thank you for watching Please subscribe my channel it will get more inspirations to me to make a more videos if you have any comments please write comment uh, in the comment box that is the, your comment is very valuable for me thank you thank you for watching